one word to describe when Giuliani came from the jail into this street here was chaotic. The former Lieutenant Governor of Georgia, Jeff Duncan, did just leave the courthouse. Mentioned Georgia being different than some of these other cases. Kind of talk me through why the Fulton County case is different from the federal case. The Republicans and Congressman Jordan need 17 votes for him to become the next House Speaker. What statement do you think this makes about the Republican Party right now. Leaders in South Carolina specifically have been very vocal today about their support for Israel. I talked with Senator Warnock earlier and he said, you know, candidly, he still could lose to his challenger Herschel Walker tonight. One percentage point separated Walker and Warnock in November. That's why he's really putting out that plea to voters to get out to the polls. I spoke with Senator Warnock after his rally in Savannah to learn how he's working this time around to defeat his opponent. Tuesday will be the second time Senator Raphael Warnock takes on Republican challenger Herschel Walker and the second time he's appeared in a runoff election. But this time around, the cycle is four weeks, not nine, like it was in 2020. People are showing up, um, but I, I think that's an indication of the determination of people to keep pushing doesn't mean the barriers are, are not there. They're real. A shorter early voting period hasn't meant lower turnout. Georgians are still showing up to cast their ballots in record numbers. They are who Warnock says he's focused on. When I asked about how his party is working to gain control of 51 seats in the Senate. My dad said if someone hires you to do the job, do the job they hired you to do. I, I have always been focused on Georgia. I was born in this state educated in this state. This time around, Warnock has still been campaigning with high profile figures like former President Barack Obama. But unlike the general election, Walker now has Governor Brian Kemp campaigning with him. I have already demonstrated that I know how to do bipartisan work. And I've done a lot of it. They know that I know how to stand up to my party and the president. Less than one percentage point separated Warnock and Walker in November. Hey, Reporting in Savannah, street. Olivia Weil, WGCL 22 like News. The federal budget is due September 30th, and that's what Georgia Congressman Buddy Carter says his main focus will be when he heads back to Washington, D.C. tomorrow. He says Congress has been in talks with the speaker about pushing for a 30 day extension on that deadline. Being a military community, Carter says there is a VA construction bill already ready to go, but it will only take effect once that budget is passed. Here's what else he says he'll be working on this session. We've got uh, a number of bills that have to do with health care that we're trying to get through. Energy is very important. We've got a number of energy bills, obviously. Um, a lot of things, but nothing compares to the budget. That's going to be our focus. I also asked the congressman about the redistricting trial currently happening in Georgia. He says he is keeping a close eye on it and that he says we should expect those maps to be redrawn quote sooner rather than later. Reporting in Savannah, Olivia Weil, WJCL 22 News. Olivia, thanks so much.